and it's Brady with uh, Outsiders Outreach. And I'm coming to you today with a small little devotional that uh, Paul has uh, asked me to do for uh, Outsiders Outreach, and I gladly said yes for him. Um, great guy, by the way. Um, my devotional today is Daniel chapter 3, uh, verses 17 through 18. And it's a little bit of background for it is, is uh, uh, Meshed, Shadrach, and Abednego are about to get burned alive in a furnace um, by King Nebuchadnezzar, basically because they won't worship King Nebuchadnezzar in a gold statue that he wants them, <clears throat> excuse me, to worship. And um, basically, this whole uh, devotion is going to, be about trusting God and things that you can't control. Um, so anyways, on with the verse. Uh, Daniel chapter 3, verse 17. Um, if we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, your majesty. And then there's verse 18, which is, my God, this, this verse is just amazing. And <clears throat> so convicting. It says, but even if he doesn't, but even if he doesn't, that just kills me every time. Oh my goodness. Your majesty can be sure that we will never serve your gods or worship the gold statue you have set up. But even if he doesn't. <clears throat> can you have faith in God? Knowing that even if he doesn't show up in the time that you most need him. That the outcome <clears throat> will be for something greater that he wants it to be. Um something I've dearly struggled with, uh, you know, uh, this whole teaching, by the way, is, um, our devotional is based off of a friend of mine named Cameron, uh, that I learned in Elevation Church up in uh, North Carolina at an internship. <clears throat> it says, bring your battles to God as the first point. Number two, open your heart to the outcome because not every time you can control it, but you have to embrace it. Uh, number three, worship withholding nothing back. It, all while opening your heart to the outcome. And four, have faith in God and not the outcome. How can you apply this to your life? Um, I know for me that right now the coronavirus is out and I work in a lot of music stuff and I wish I could <clears throat> have a job right now. And I know that the Lord will either provide me with a job for now or provide me with a job after. Or if he doesn't, I trust that further down the road that hopefully he will provide in some sort of way that I'll be able to sustain myself. Um, think about it. Pray about it. Uh, hit me up if you need any prayer. Hit me up if you need to talk. Um, I'm on Facebook. Paul can give me your uh, information or give you my information. So, um Outsiders, we out.